Scam? Collapse? Never going to open main net. Value dropping to zero. That's what they said. Those are the words of doubt, the criticisms that our pioneer community has heard over and over again for years. They've been waiting for the Pi Network to die. They've been counting down the days until this project fades away. But six months after the open network, Pi is not only alive, but is also preparing for a true revolution. And today, the Pi core team has just dropped a bombshell on the community, a declaration of war on the Web2 world and a golden opportunity for all of us. Welcome back to the Pi From Us channel. And this is the most earth-shattering news you will hear this year. Pi Hackathon 2025 has officially begun. Part one, the bombshell named Pi Hackathon 2025 more than just a competition. Right now, let's analyze the impact of this bombshell. The Pi Hackathon 2025 is not just a programming competition. This is the first ever full community hackathon since Pi officially entered the open network phase. This is a rallying cry, a call to arms for all developers, all creative minds around the world to come and build the future on the Pi platform. And the prize? It's not just attractive, it's massive. The total prize pool is up to 160,000 Pi, over $60,000. That's a life-changing amount of money for any individual, for any development team. But wait, don't just look at the number. Look at the meaning behind it. The Pi Core team isn't burning money to create FOMO. They're investing. They're using the ecosystem's own resources to plant seeds, seeds that will grow into applications with millions of users in the future. So what are the participation rules? Very simple. Who? All developers globally. Task? Build mainnet applications that create real utility using the Pi coin. Deliverables? A functional application, a demo video, and the necessary submission forms. Deadline? October 15th, 2025. But here's the real game changer, the point that makes this competition completely different from any hackathon you've ever known. Part two, in-depth analysis, Pi App Studio, and the democratization of app creation. The most groundbreaking, most revolutionary aspect of Pi Hackathon 2025 is that you can use Pi App Studio. Do you understand what this means? It means the biggest barrier to creating an application, the need to know how to code, has been almost completely eliminated. Pi App Studio is a low-code, no-code tool, allowing anyone, whether a grocery store owner, a teacher, an artist, or a student, to turn their idea into a functional app. You don't need to be a software engineer with 10 years of experience. You only need one thing, an idea. Let's make a simple comparison. The Web2 world, traditional. To create an app, you need to learn programming, Java, Swift, Kotlin, which takes months, even years. Hire a team of developers for a cost ranging from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Pay for server maintenance, marketing. The Pi Network, you have an idea. You open Pi App Studio, you drag, drop, design the interface, connect built-in features like Pi payments, user authentication, and boom, you have an application. This is the democratization of utility creation. It empowers the masses, the 55 to 60 million pioneers across the globe. And this is where the numbers speak for themselves. Currently, the Apple App Store has about 1.8 million apps and the Google Play Store has about 2.7 million apps. These numbers were generated by a relatively small group of professional developers worldwide over a decade. Now look at the Pi Network. We have a community of over 55 million partially or fully KYC verified users. During the testnet phase, an experimental period with insignificant rewards, we already saw over 20,000 applications created by the community itself. Now just imagine, with a prize pool of up to 160,000 Pi, with a tool as easy to use as Pi App Studio, and with a ready-made market of 55 million users, what will happen? Predictions and data analysis. If just 0.1% of the 55 million, that's 55,000 people, have an idea and try out Pi App Studio, we have the potential to generate 55,000 new applications. 
If just 1% of those, meaning 550 apps, are high-quality applications that solve a specific problem for the community, the Pi ecosystem will take a giant leap forward. The figure of hundreds of thousands of applications that many predict might not be far-fetched. It's based on the scale of the community and the ease of the tool. This is no longer a game for tech giants. This is a game for the community. An app from a small village in Vietnam can compete on equal footing with an app from Silicon Valley. That is the power of Pi. Part 3. The Big Picture, Six Months of Open Mainnet and the Build the Foundation First, Raise the House Later strategy. This hackathon is not an isolated event. It is a perfect piece of the puzzle placed in the right position within a larger picture that the Pi Core team has been patiently painting for years. To understand its importance, we need to take a step back and look at what has happened in the six months since the open network began. While the anti-fans were hoping for Pi's collapse, what was the Pi Core team doing quietly in the background? They weren't focused on exchange listings or pumping an artificial price, they were focused on building the infrastructure foundation. One. KYC, KYB, the ecosystem shield. Data, nearly 15 million accounts have completed KYC. This number continues to grow. Analysis, this isn't just a number. 15 million real identity verified users are an invaluable asset. It eliminates bots and fraud, creating a transparent business environment. When exchanges and external businesses look at this, they see a high quality user community. KYB, this feature is being rolled out, allowing businesses to be verified as well. A business wants to accept Pi payments? They need to pass KYB. This builds absolute trust for users during transactions. Nodes, the decentralized backbone. Data, tens of thousands of nodes are operating globally, making the Pi blockchain one of the most decentralized networks in the world. Analysis. This decentralization ensures the network cannot be controlled or shut down by any single individual or organization. It is the guarantee of the entire ecosystem's sustainability and security. The integrated ecosystem, the super app vision. Pi Browser, not just a browser, it's the gateway to Pi's Web3 world. Pi Wallet, a non-custodial wallet, giving users full control over their assets. Pi Ads, a decentralized advertising network. App developers from the hackathon can integrate Pi ads to generate a sustainable revenue stream. Users who watch ads can earn Pi, a closed loop economic cycle. Fiat Crypto Payment Gateway. Integration with banks, Google Pay, and Apple Pay is in progress. This will blur the line between fiat currency and Pi, making it easy for someone in a remote area to use Pi for purchases and vice versa. Do you see it? All these pieces, KYC, nodes, wallet, browser, ads, they're not disconnected. They were created to serve the next step, which is the explosive growth phase of utility applications. And the Pi Hackathon 2025 is the starting gun for that explosion. This is the build infrastructure first, attract capital later strategy. It goes against 99% of other crypto projects, which typically list on exchanges first, create FOMO, raise funds from the community, and then start building or run away. Pi does the opposite. They're building a city with all the roads, electricity, water, and laws before inviting citizens, the apps and businesses, to come and live there. This approach is slower and doesn't create speculative bubbles, but it creates real value and sustainable growth. Part four, confronting doubt and a prediction for the future. I know, even after hearing all this, many people will remain skeptical. They'll say, nice idea, but will it succeed? The price of Pi will just go to zero anyway. How can it compete with Apple and Google? And I am here, and the Pi From Us channel is still here to tell you that skepticism is part of the journey. Just remember, in 2020, 2021, they said Pi would never have its own blockchain. And then the Pi main net was born. In 2022, 2023, they said Pi would never be able to KYC millions of people. 
and then we reached nearly 15 million KYC completed users. In 2024, they said Pi would never have an open mainnet, that PyCoin was worthless, and then the open network launched. Pi gained a consensus value, and P2P transactions exploded globally. Every time the community has doubts, the Pi network answers with action. History is repeating itself. Now, when we talk about an app ecosystem that can compete with Web2, they continue to disbelieve. They continue to tear it down and say the project will soon collapse. But let me offer a prediction, a forecast based on the logical analysis we've just gone through. 1. The explosion of the microeconomy. This hackathon will give birth to thousands of small applications serving very specific local needs. For example, a pie market app for a residential area where people can trade vegetables and used goods for pie. A Pi Tutor app connecting students who need extra help with teachers in the same city. A Pi Travel app for booking homestays or renting motorbikes at a small tourist destination using Pi. These apps don't need millions of users. They only need a few hundred or a few thousand users within a small community to create real value and generate flow for the Pi coin. 2. The Emergence of Pi App Unicorns Among those thousands of apps, there will be hidden gems. There will be applications that solve bigger problems with the potential to attract millions of users. It could be a social network, an e-commerce platform, an NFT game, a decentralized finance DeFi application. These apps will be the main growth drivers for the entire ecosystem. 3. Sustainable growth of Pi Coins value. This is the most important point. The value of Pi will not come from speculation on exchanges. It will come from utility. When you want to use the Pi Market app, you need Pi. When a business wants to advertise on Pi ads, they need Pi. When a developer wants to pay for platform services, they need Pi. The formula is simple. More useful apps, more people needing Pi to use them, increased demand, increased value. This is real growth, not a bubble. At that point, you won't want to sell your Pi cheaply. You'll want to hold your Pi to use the services in an ever richer ecosystem. One final and boldest comparison. Android and iOS conquered the Web2 world with their app stores. The Pi Network aims to conquer the Web3 world with its Pi app ecosystem. What's the difference? Apple and Google take a 30% fee from developers, creating a controlled playground. The Pi Network creates an open, decentralized playground where value is shared among developers and users alike. So, after all this analysis, what should we do? If you are a developer or tech savvy, this is your golden opportunity. Don't miss out. Assemble a team, brainstorm ideas, and start building today. 160,000 Pi is a huge reward, but the legacy you leave behind, an app used by millions, is even greater. If you are not a programmer, but you have an idea, don't sit still. Explore Pi App Studio. Find teammates with technical skills. Your idea might be exactly what this ecosystem is looking for. Many great tech companies were founded by one person with a vision and another with programming skills. If you are a true pioneer, your role is extremely important. Keep mining. Every pie you have today will be a ticket to experience the ecosystem in the future. Spread the word. Share this video. Share the information about the hackathon. The more talented people who know about it, the stronger our ecosystem will grow. Be an early adopter. When the apps from the hackathon are released, be the first to experience, use, and provide feedback. Community support is the lifeblood of dApps. Dear Pioneers, the Pi Hackathon 2025 is not just a competition. It is a historic milestone. It is the moment when the Pi Network transitions from the foundation building phase to the skyscraper construction phase. It is the most resounding answer to all the doubts and criticisms. The world is on the threshold of the Web3 revolution, and the Pi Network is positioning itself not just as a participant, but as a leader. A future where everyone can participate in the digital economy, where value is created by the community and for the community, is right before our eyes. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Pi From Us channel so you don't miss the most in-depth analysis of the project. And most importantly, leave a comment below. 
What app idea do you have for the Pi Hackathon 2025? Share it. You might just find your teammates right here. Goodbye and see you in the next videos. Stay strong in your belief because the best is yet to come.